what's the concept? Who is going to form it? So now we are going to deal with only up to up to one to twenty elements. We are learning about more than one to twenty elements. This concept again, there are some drawbacks about this concept. The same scientist has clarified the drawbacks also. Same scientist, not the other scientist. He himself rectified the problem about the more than twenty elements. So now we are going to deal about only one to twenty elements by using twelve square on that. Okay, clear? Clear, children? Okay. This is nucleus. Electron configuration uh, is for the number of electrons, children. Here, the electronic configuration uh, deals with the with the electrons, with the number of the protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are stable. In case of electronic configuration, only we are going to deal with only about the electrons. Like how an atomic number is only concerned with the number of protons, understood? And how atomic mass is only concerned about the neutrons and protons. Here, electronic configuration is only related to electrons because they are outside the nucleus. They are far from the nucleus, and they have capability. To jump from the lower shell to the higher shell, higher shells to the lower shells. Are we clear? Okay. So, what is two n square formula? What do you mean by two n square formula? Here, it is equal to number of shells. Number of shells. So, what is electron configuration? The arrangement of electrons. The arrangement of electrons. The arrangement of like this. I'll write and I'll explain so that there is no limit with this uh, or a problem for you. I'll write like this. Okay. Yes, dear. So the arrangement of electrons in different shells is known as its electronic combination. So here we are using the two n square formula, which is given by Bohr. Okay. So for Bohr, there is electronic configuration we can call it so. Hmm. Bohr, there is electronic configuration we call it so by using this two n square formula. Here n is equal to number of shells. So I want to arrange. For example, when we visit to the class, when we visit to the class. So all the children in class, or all the children are walk, walk with each other and they sit at one particular place in, in same place. No, there the the children are arranged based on the tables allotted. The children were were occupied the places. The children are occupied the places. Am I right? It's especially before arranging the children, the classroom need to be arranged. I saw no. Yes. 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 So before arranging the electro electrons are nothing but number of atoms, number of protons, same. Okay, but these electrons are present outside outside the nucleus in a definite path. In a definite path. So these are the shells. We can have, give the number to the shells. So first of all, this is near enough to the nucleus is shell one. L is equal to two, L is equal to three, L is equal to four. Then, yes, here what I said, L is equal to number of shells. By using two n square formula, by using two n square formula, we are giving the vacant, vacant places for the vacant places present in the shells or orbits. Okay. For example, n is equal to one. N is equal to one means first shell. First shell. How many electrons it can accommodate? First bench is there. Two. Yes. Yes. Ronak. I'm two. Yes. The first bench is there. So based on the space, the children will occupy the space. Am I right? If it is allotted for only two children, two children only will allot the place, occupy the space. 
its second bench is there second bench having capability to occupy eight children so eight children will occupy them am i right so here in the first level three children are there so two children will occupy the first place and one extra child will go and occupy the second table understood the move we need to substitute the value first where in place of n 2 into 1 squared is equal to 2. That means first shell is having two vacant spaces. Understood? Understood? So second shell, second shell. That means 2 into 2 whole square is equal to 2 into 2 square means 4. 2 fours are 8. So second shell having ability for how many? How many? Eight. Eight. So before entering the children, we need to arrange the classroom. Then only the children can happily occupy the spaces. So the benches are clumsy. The classroom are not yet uh, given a proper slotting. So what the children will do? The children also obviously the classroom also clumsy. You don't have to wait to sit. Understood or not? So third shell, third shell, third shell eighteen, fourth shell thirty-two. Understood. So now we know the vacant spaces. Estia, Estia, we know the vacant spaces now. How to arrange the atoms? How to arrange the electrons? Okay, so first shell it can accommodate two electrons. Am I right? Second shell it can accommodate eight electrons. Third shell it it can accommodate eighteen electrons. But yes, it, the vacant uh, spaces we are talking about. We are talking about Additions. Understood. So four shell can accommodate thirty-two electrons. Till here, no doubts. Now I want to arrange the uh, arrange the electrons in each shell. Now I want to arrange the electrons in each shell. Understood. So, for example, carbon. Carbon is an abundant element, so obviously we are uh, uh, taking carbon as an example for every concept. Okay, the scientists also have taken carbon as an example for atomic weight. Atomic number six. Atomic number six. That means number uh, number of protons six. Number of electrons also. Six. There is no variation in the number of protons and electrons. Okay, six. So six electrons are there in carbon. How many times the six electrons? So first level two vacant uh, vacant spaces. Vacant spaces. So first level, how many it can accommodate? Two. So two. So six minus two, how many? Four are left. Four are left. So those four, all the six cannot take the first level, first shell. So they will go back second shell. So four can accommodate the second shell. Understood? Four can accommodate the So first bench, total six children are there. Wow. First bench has is, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. First bench can accommodate two children. So among six children, two were occupied in the first shell. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, the many children obviously. Ma'am, not first shell, ma'am. First bench. If you are using the student analogy. Yes. Yes, Kavya. But the maximum number of electrons that can fit on, uh, on all the shells except the first two is eight, right? No, first is two. Second shell can accommodate eight. Third shell can accommodate. Third shell can eight accommodate eighteen, and fourth yes. shell can accommodate thirty-two. But generally, third shell, uh, generally. Yes, yes. This I mentioned. This I mentioned. Yes. You know, one to one to twenty-eight. Please accommodate. Uh, Accommodate yes. eight. Accommodate eight. Ah, yes. Okay. I will step first. Okay. 
That's what I'm very much curious to teach your class. I, I just do with stepwise because remaining children also then. Yes, okay. Yes, Kavya, you're right. Yes. So carbon is six electrons. Carbon is six electrons. So six means two, zero, two, four. The electronic configuration of carbon is two, four. What is the electronic configuration of oxygen? Two, six. Understood? Neon? Neon? Then do it. So what is the drawback of uh, more about, about 20 elements? About 20 elements. Like first shell can accommodate to second shell 8, third 18, 32. When you see the third shell, third shell, though according to 2 n square formula, though according to the 2 n square formula, it can accommodate, it can, uh, it can, uh, it is having the ability to accommodate 18 and across the third shell. But the third shell is, uh, the third shell is far near to the nucleus. So there is a force of attraction, there is a force of attraction between the nucleus and the shells. Like how in the classroom teacher, a uh, teacher present in the uh, initiation question or near the board, and the many children are present in different uh, rows. Okay. So, but the teacher is having, the man is having, uh, like, uh, that concentration, the same concentration when the child is sitting in the first bench, even in the last bench. Same way. So, the force of attraction uh, for the third shell and the nucleus also go. Always the nucleus having the ability to keep the shells in that part, in that particular part. And 18 electrons cannot bear by the third shell. The third shell cannot bear. So when we construct a building with pillars, the pillars should go whether that is three stores building or four or five floors. Okay. So based on that, uh, what we can say, based on that uh, different uh, uh, floors, the pillars should be constructed first. Okay. Go according to 2 n square formula, it is having 18 spaces for 18 electrons, but third shell is not having ability to hold all the 18 electrons. So that is a big drawback by the board. Immediately he gave the he gave his idea to give the one more one more configuration. One more configuration that is 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, 32, 32. Understood? Why is 8 number is given? What is the use? So no, 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 18. This one. Only third shell cannot bear 18 electrons, but fourth shell can bear. And fifth also can bear. Even fourth shell can bear 32 electrons. Why can't it bear 18? Okay, like that, uh, how we are asking now, so the same way when the scientist has given his views and its ideas, immediately one more scientist uh, raised his points. So immediately he should have that evidence and the confidence to clear the doubt. Understood? Then only we can say that it's not proved uh, this thing. Then only we can Otherwise it's like drawback only. Yes. And understood what I'm saying? So on what basis he has taken it? You know the periodic table? Yes, ma'am. You know the periodic table? This is the periodic table in general. So first shell, first period consists of two, ele uh, two elements. Right? Hydrogen. Yes. So second uh, period consists of eight elements. Third period also consists of eight elements. Fourth period with incomplete 18 and 18. If you see the remaining 32 and 32. He considered the he considered the periods of the periodic table, then he gave the idea. That means third shell in the sense he considered the third shell is nothing but third period elements because third period elements will always occupy third shell. That also you are going to learn in your higher classes, standard and periodic classification. Yes, ma'am. Understood? Okay, so he has taken this concept and he clarified the doubt about the third shell. So now we are following the uh, about 20 elements, we are following this. 